Today marks 14 years since the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil. Ceremonies nationwide will honor the lives lost on 9-11 when the attacks killed nearly 3,000 at the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and aboard United 93. One of those ceremonies in Delaware Park this morning. That's where we find Rachel Elzafon. She's live this morning with more. Uh, good morning, Laura. You can see that members of the Air Force Honor Guard are getting ready, standing next to flags. That ceremony set to begin in less than 10 minutes now. And we are talking about the ceremony and also a walk that's going to happen all day afterwards. And joining us is Joseph La Galarza Hello. to talk about that. Uh, a former member of the Army National Guard, you were actually a first responder at Ground Zero. Can you talk about what, what you remember from that time and why it's so important for people to continue to pay tribute like we're doing today? Yes, I was a member of National Guard at Third Brigade, 42nd Infantry Division out of Maston. Uh, we got there the second day after the towers came down. Um, I remember the smoke, the smelling of burning copper, um, and it was easy, you know, lot, all the, everybody looking for their loved ones. That was a heartbroken of everything. But um, it's very important not to forget what happened that day and be a part of a team like RWB. Um, it's just, they come together and help the veterans when they come back for places like that. There are already people here lining up, getting ready to walk and watch the ceremony. You were just telling me you're an Iraq veteran as well, that you were in Baghdad. For you, what's the importance of seeing people both remember the victims of 9-11, but also to pay tribute and remember the veterans who gave so much in the aftermath? Yes, it's very, it's very important not to forget about the veterans. Um, they they come home and a lot of them feel alone, feel they, they by themselves. And then and being a part of this team it helps them out to reach out to the brotherhoods of other people who's been in the same shoes that they've been to. Um, we're about to see a ceremony begin um, it, for, as a veteran yourself and as somebody who is at Ground Zero. Is, is this an emotional time for people who have, who, especially for people who were there at Ground Zero at this time? And are there, I guess, would you like to see people reach out to, to first responders and, and loved ones? Yes, I you know, like to, you know, see people reach out for loved ones and, you know, being, being part of this team is, is great to be here and then the more people to come and better. So we're here at Delaware Park all day today. Thank you very much, Jose. We appreciate no your time this morning. Um, again, the ceremony is set to begin in about five minutes now. This walk around Delaware Park will take place from sunrise through sunset. Live in Delaware Park, Rachel Elzefan, 7 Eyewitness News.